Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to discuss about a little bit about earthquake engineering and specifically about structural dynamics. Uh, so structural dynamics describes how a building moves back and forth um, under some load. So with us it's going to be earthquake. So with a scenario here I've drawn our, our little building. So say we're here and an earthquake comes along. So we have our little symbol for our earthquake. So lines going back and forth and it's going to shake our building. Um, what we want to be able to know is, you know, can we predict the forces which are going to go into this building from this earthquake? Uh, can we predict how much it moves? And what we use there, quite commonly as earthquake engineers, uh, and able to predict these, these forces on the building, is a concept called a natural period uh, of the structure. Natural period. And it's... Um, noted with the symbol TN. So natural period, well let's let's take a let's find out well, what is uh, what is a period. So a period of vibration uh, let's start with a with an example. So say we've got a swing um, and it's got uh, our child sitting on the swing. There he is. Nice and happy. So if we were to bring this child all the way up to the top and you know, we'll draw him in there and we'll call that point A and we'll let him go so he can fly all the way up nice enjoying the swing and then back so we call the point at the very top point B um, all a period is time for one cycle to go from A to B and back to A. And it's that time in seconds. And that equals one period. That's one period of vibration. Now there's a, there's a term which is very similar um, to period which is frequency. So, and frequency is simply the inverse of period. So if period is the time it takes to complete one cycle, uh, frequency is the time, the number of cycles that can be completed in one time. So we'll just write that down. Uh, period again denoted by the letter T, which is time to complete one cycle of vibration and that's going to have the units of seconds and frequency just the inverse of period and that is number of cycles uh, completed in one minute completed Sorry, not one minute, one second. In one second. And so it has units one over seconds, and that's because T equals one over F. That's the inverse. So one over seconds, um, and we oftentimes write that one over seconds term as hertz. So you may have may have seen this before on say an electric motor it has it runs at 50 hertz so a little electric motor inside will run at a speed and it com will complete 50 revolutions in one second um, and now so every and so we have this period so as I said if we just pick the child up and let him go and let him go under what's called free vibration so there's no external force pushing on him that is what the natural period is. So if we pushed on him or he kicked his legs, he's under force, he's not under free vibration, and it's not his natural period. So natural period is what is this system between the child and the swing, what does it naturally want to swing back and forth at? Now, for if we want to calculate that, um, for the child and the swing, it's quite easy. We can go up with a stopwatch, pick the child up, let child go, swings up from A to B, back to A, stop the stopwatch. But if we have a building, well, we 
it's really difficult to pull the building back and just let it go in order to get our um, our calculation of natural period. And so instead, um, in earthquake engineering, what we do is we essentially turn buildings into upside down children on swings. So I'll tell you what I mean by that. So that's basically we have we pretend that all the mass of the building sits at one one point. So it looks kind of like a like a lollipop. And so this is and um, all the walls and columns and all everything that that provides stiffness to the building um, also gets lumped together. And um, and that's that's our dynamic representation of of many buildings. Um, and so and we can use this to calculate period um, and really based on these two things the mass and the stiffness so a mass uh, denoted by the symbol M as I have there is just simply how much stuff in a given structure Um, and by stuff, I mean uh, atoms and, and physical things. So, I mean, we will have the units kilograms or pound mass or tons. It doesn't really matter. And stiffness of a structure is, don is noted by the symbol K. And stiffness is how hard it is to push the thing. Um, more specifically, it's how much force to push a unit displacement. And what I mean by this unit displacement is um, if, say, we had a, uh, a, a stick planted in the ground and we put a force on that stick and the stick was going to move over one unit. Um, that unit can be meters, it can be millimeters, it can be... Um, miles it doesn't matter as long as it's just a, a one. It's, it's essentially a ratio. Um, so we have units for stiffness of say kilonewton per meter or pound per inch. Um, it doesn't, doesn't really matter as long as we stay consistent. Now if we want to calculate the period um, it, it comes out in a rather elegant equation using just mass and stiffness. And so the calculation for period of a building is just Tn equals 2 pi times the square root of m over k. And that's using the simplification of the building as a what we call a single degree of freedom system, so it can only move back and forth one way and one degree of freedom. Um, with a lumped mass and a lump stiffness, uh, that that's it. And this is this gives us a, a tells us a little bit something about um, period. So that if we can start thinking about period in terms which are um, familiar to us, essentially as the stiffness goes up, um, our period goes down. Um, you can think about that if you have uh, take a ruler on a and hold ruler against a piece of um, against the table and if it's short it's going to be stiff it's going to take very little time for it to complete one cycle now if you lengthen the ruler it's less stiff it's going to take longer time same thing with mass if you add a lot of mass to that ruler it, um, it will be uh, a higher period take longer time um, and so in the next video what I'm going to tell you is how we use this concept with earthquake engineering all right thank you